At SNHU, most, if not all of your classes will have a discussion board as part of your learning experience, where you post your answer to a question and then respond to your classmates' posts throughout the week. As an SNHU instructor myself, I love discussion boards. They're a great opportunity for the class to interact, to engage, and learn from each other. Participating in your discussion on time is also a great way to let your instructor know that you're actively engaged and participating in the class, especially in the first week of the term. So let's review five tips you can use to crush your discussion board posts at SNHU. Number one, refer to the grading rubric. If you're not already familiar, a rubric is a document that tells you what criteria the instructor will use to grade your work. And it even tells you what makes the difference between good work, great work, and work that may need some improvement. You'll find a link to the discussion rubric along with the question in your learning module. Examine it so you know what you need to do, what areas you'll be graded on, and what's required to get the best grade possible. Number two, to get full credit for your discussion, you'll want to post by Thursday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. But that doesn't mean you need to wait till Thursday to do it. Get it done or at least get it started when it's most convenient for you throughout the week. Number three, answer all parts of the question. One of the things instructors look for is the completeness, depth, and the detail of your discussion. Taking the time to answer the question completely using good detail and relating to your reading or other course materials is key. Number four, engage with your classmates. When you respond to your classmates, make sure you address their ideas and their posts specifically with references to what they wrote and ask questions. You want to further the conversation in meaningful ways and a great way to do that is asking follow-up questions. And finally, number five, proofread and cite sources if needed. Before you submit your initial post and your response posts, give a quick proofread to make sure you have no typos, grammar, spelling errors. That helps the readability of your posts and it's a great practice for all your communications. Also, even though a discussion can feel a little informal, make sure you cite sources where necessary with the proper format.